Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info war. We see the Earth now. DA-14 is now rapidly accelerated past the Earth on its elliptical orbit. We'll reportedly be back our way for another 267 years. I don't know when it's going to be back. I just thought I'd have some fun with the regular intro. Being astronauts from the Apollo program saying we see the Earth from here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday, the 17th day of February 2013, Stuart Rhodes of Oath Keepers will be joining us to break down uh, the open military training uh, to condition the military, the police, and the public to acclimate us for <coughs> open martial law. The TSA checkpoints expanding. Everything we warned about were called conspiracy theorists for being well-researched and actually going to the government documents and finding out about what was happening. Uh, it's now unfolding out in the open. And we'll also get into a California police chief and others saying the citizens should not have any guns. Guns are not defensive weapons. Therefore, the police to intimidate us with. He basically says that very bizarre, but actually it's bizarre he'd be so truthful. Uh, it was like a police chief, what was it, in Maryland, uh, Baltimore a few years ago said, we wear black uniforms and ski masks to intimidate you. And he was talking about you know, why they wanted to militarize more police. So... Uh, the idea is government's God, everybody else is criminals, uh, and the state is here to basically feed on us. Uh, so that is coming up. Uh, Alan Greenspan, of course, years ago famously said the Federal Reserve is above the law and no uh, group of government can oversee it, which is asinine. It's clearly in the Constitution that that is the Congress. Um, we're going to play that clip later, but there's a new clip where he said uh, that the odds of the government going into automatic cuts uh, are very high. Well, he's a big insider. And that's because it's cuts on benefits, not cuts to the banker bailouts. So I want to explain uh, all that and break down the economy today. Americans' financial downfall citizens are now desperately raiding 401k plans to pay bills long before retirement. Uh, we're going to be uh, going over all of that today. We're going to look at G20 Summit to focus on currency war, threat to the economy, uh, and a lot more. And I ran across another article out of Forbes uh, dealing with John Paul DeGoria, DeGoria, the individual worth over $4 billion, started Paul Mitchell, and also Patron um, Tequila, a truly self-made guy who was once homeless after he got out of the Navy. And he said, you know what, Obama... Obama, people don't need to not hire, but, but yeah, it's going to hurt the economy. It's a Forbes article because Obama it, you know, is raising taxes, not, not just on the rich, but middle class and poor with the payroll taxes. But he said, you know what, I hope he wakes up that it's going to hurt the economy and comes to Jesus. You know, I know he doesn't really want to hurt America on purpose. Now, either uh, this gentleman is naive or that's a diplomatic way of saying it. They want you poor, except for the select insiders that are tax exempt like the Facebook pump and dump. It's not enough the government let them do a pump and dump that no one else could be allowed to do because it's insider and they attended Bilderberg Group, uh, Zuckerberg and others. It's that now they're basically being given tax forgivance on the profits from the pump and dump 2012. And it's the same thing with trillions of dollars outside the country that's tax exempt. Uh, they allow the, the select corporations to bring it back in, basically tax-free. And it's incredible. I mean, you could be a self-made billionaire. You're going to pay around 40% federal tax a year. But if you're an insider, if you're part of the good old boy club, you're not going to have any place at that table. And the globalists at a certain point aren't going to let you be self-made. Like the gentleman that created Paul Mitchell and Patron tequila and so much more and who started dozens of other successful businesses all right when we come back we'll get into the latest on the asteroid uh and uh leading geneticists human intelligence is slowly declining who urges vigilance over new sars virus
It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, molds, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. On the march, the empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We are locked and loaded. We are live. Launch. It is Sunday, the 17th day of February 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones, the founder uh, of Oath Keepers Constitutional Yale award-winning uh, constitutional lawyer and former uh, Army paratrooper Stuart Rhodes, the founder of Oath Keepers, will be joining us in the second hour to break down not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, not ten. Fourteen states, and I've got a list of them here, have introduced legislation to ban physically all semi-autos and make you hand them in. And it has the full Democratic Party behind them from Missouri to New York State to Washington State. Those are just a few of them. California, you name it. And we have a bizarro clip, bizarro because they're so honest about it, with a major police chief leading a press conference in California saying because of the uh, uh, alleged, I mean, I think he was probably behind it because they burned him up, you'll never know, uh, Chris Dorner rampage that the citizens should have all their guns taken because only the government should have guns. And it's just bizarre they'd be so uh, honest about it. But again, they, they play that double game of you're a conspiracy theorist if you say we want your guns, but at the same time, we do want your guns and we're going to take them. And there's also an article out of the Associated Press. It was carried by Fox News, you name it. Why is the Department of Homeland Security buying so many bullets? And it says uh, online rumors about big government uh, munitions purchases are true, sort of. And it goes in to say the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, uh, who's just crazy, uh, he, he says they're buying the bullets. Well, it's true, but it's no big deal. And so he's discredited. And they never say how I'm discredited. And then I have a, a Atlantic Magazine going, Alex Jones said that the U.S. was attacking Russia with the uh, meteorite that hit Friday morning. Uh, the meteor that came into the atmosphere, and uh, Alex Jones is discredited. And they linked to an article carried by DrudgeReport.com that clearly we were saying r rumors uh, and reports that the U.S. attacked Russia and that Russia shot it down spread, and we go on to say we believe it's a piece of the stone meteorite. Was it DA-14 that went by? DA-14... And that it was not a weapons attack on Russia. So we write an article reporting on what's all over the Russian news. We post it. It goes viral. One of the biggest stories on Friday, according to the sites that track that. I'm going to cover that later. I have the list here. And then they just tell their readers, Alex Jones said this, and Alex Jones is discredited when we said the opposite. And, and, and more and more, the propaganda against us doesn't even make sense. Unless you think your readers have IQs below a room temperature. And, of course, uh, 76 is room temperature. 76 is also considered mentally retarded. And that's how they treat their readers. And it's very insulting. But I guess it's working. I mean, because some people are still still buying into this. And uh, But, I mean, I've got like five articles today where mainstream media... And I don't want to spend the whole show defending myself, but, but when it's illustrative, when it can be con constructive to show people how 
establishment propaganda organs and uh, systems work. I mean, it's just amazing. Oh, look at Alex. Yeah, he said, uh, he said that the U.S. attacked Russia. And then the article in question, we were saying that it was clearly a spur from DA-14. And there were other fireballs that came in over California, over uh, areas of Cuba, obviously stone meteorites in the daytime. I've, I've been an amateur astronomer for a long time. The big rocks come in, they heat up, they have gas inside the rock, they explode. And then shoot a bunch of little pieces down that injured over a thousand people uh, in Russia. Uh, it's just so bizarre to have an article saying the Russian government, one member saying the U.S. attacked them. They're also saying it was a weapons test. Uh, you know, this appears to be a stone meteorite coming in, probably a spur of uh, DA-14. Uh, generally, when large asteroids get knocked out of the asteroid belt or further out the Kuiper belt, some other comet or large object hitting them cause them to be ejected on their trajectory and normally carry other rocks from the initial impact uh, with them, uh, that's just standard uh, astronomy from the top astronomers we've interviewed, like Shoemaker and Levy and others. We wrote a well-balanced article, and I cover it on the radio, and now I said, well, it's like they say that I said the end of the world was 2012. I spent 15 years of 17 years on air being asked about that as a real pet peeve by listeners getting mad at me because I didn't think it'd be the end of the world. And then they still run news articles everywhere saying I said it'd be the end of the world. And again, they know that's not my position. This isn't about Alex Jones. This is about the establishment media thinking you are stupid. That's what they think. I don't think you're stupid. So we just lay the facts out here as best as I've researched them and understand them. It doesn't mean I'm right about everything, but my analysis is pretty darn dead on. And then it's up to you to do an analysis uh, of what I'm covering from your own perspective and decide if I'm overall accurate or not. Okay, I don't condescend down to you. Now, let me tell you what's coming up on the broadcast uh, today. I really want to spend the first few segments on the economy because it's a big deal. And we can fix the economy. Uh, but I was uh, reading, a what made me do this, I was reading a Forbes article that was quoting a speech that the uh, a true entrepreneur, founder of um, Paul Mitchell and Patron Tequila, a guy that was homeless and, and, and pulled himself up by his bootstraps with good ideas. Uh, he, he was saying, you know, I hope Obama doesn't keep raising taxes. It will impoverish people and shut down the economy. I don't think Obama's bad. I, uh, I just think he needs to wake up and come to Jesus financially and realize that lower taxes does create more jobs. And either he's ignorant, which I doubt, or he's being diplomatic. And I'm sorry, that's not going to work anymore. The, the people running the Democratic Party, want monopolies and are run by foreign mega banks that can create all the derivative fiat money they ever want. And they're in competition against the systems of, of true free market that empowered in, of, uh, interesting creative minds like John Paul DeJoria. So I'm going to be going over that when we come back uh, from the break because it makes me angry to see our economy shut down. It makes me angry to know that the payroll tax of people making $22,000. That guy's you queue up Obama promising not to raise the payroll tax on anybody under a quarter million a year. And then we have the articles where people making $22,000 a year or more had the payroll tax raised. And you may be making half a million dollars a year and you're like, oh, what's the big deal? $60 out of every paycheck for somebody making $22,000 a year. Somebody making $22,000 a year, hanging on, not going on welfare and food stamps hanging on, working two, three jobs, busting their butt, counting every cent. There goes grocery money, folks. Forget going out to eat. Forget going and buying new shoes. It impoverishes them. $120 a month, $60 on average. It's about $61 per pay period. It is a brutal assault. That's why when I see some poor woman pulled over with four kids in her car, in a broke-down car, and a cop's writing her a ticket, I, I, I get a nauseous feeling. Because all the big multi-billionaire globalists who aren't like the creator Paul Mitchell, who got their money from insider government contracts and monopoly deals. That's how most billionaires like Carlos Slim in Mexico and others made their money out of a cell phone monopoly given to him. People like that absolutely are at odds with those of us that want to paint an oil painting and go sell it. You know, when I was in college, I went and sold paintings on the street. 
I said, I'm going to go do the true entrepreneurial thing. And people actually came to me on 6th Street, and I got a little art showing, and I made some connections, and suddenly I was selling paintings for three, $4,000 a piece. And I didn't even have time. I was already successful oil painting and had to quit to fight the new world order. I guarantee you, I would have galleries all over the country, ladies and gentlemen. I'd be selling paintings for $100,000 a piece right now. But I'm fighting the new world order and have built a media system that reaches 3 million people plus a day. And you know how frustrating it is to sit there and research the taxes and the regulations and all the garbage? When we come back, I'm going to play that Obama clip. You know how frustrating it is to watch Obama pose as a liberal and, and then to watch libertarians and self-made men go, oh, he must, he must just be ignorant. Obama, you're going to hurt people. Hey, John Paul DeJoria, let me explain something. You're not a bad person, so you don't imagine people are... Are, are evil, okay? Obama and his controllers are evil. They want to bankrupt and make us poor and dependent on government, okay? We'll be back. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com if you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. 
See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Coming up, we're going to get into the close miss with the meteorite DA-14. We're going to break down to the incredible assaults on the Second Amendment. Drones now officially taking to the skies in the U.S. L.A. Times has surveilled the American people, including large Pentagon-funded um, and directed predators and reapers. Thought I was a conspiracy theorist telling you a decade ago that was coming. Actually, I just read Army Times and uh, the, the Defense Quarterly publications and what MIT was saying. Just thought I'd warn you, but again, it's bad to be informed. I forgot. The establishment will just call you a conspiracy theorist. And if, I mean, if you said 10,000 years ago, hey, let's create a wheel, it'll be easier to actually roll stuff on it. They'd probably call you a conspiracy theorist. But that's just a way to get you to sit down and shut up and be lazy. Uh, Jupiter's Europa moon likely is to have life on it. Uh, new images of that we're going to be going over here. For the radio audience, we have it all linked up at Infowars.com. We're also going to get to several other extremely important reports on a host of issues. It's really weird. We just changed the studio around. And I'm getting audio from in there out here. It's, it's really wild. Really interesting whenever the new changes are on some of these new computers down here on the floor. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into the economy here. Let's go ahead and break this down. America's financial downfall. Citizens now desperately raiding their 401k plans to pay bills long before retirement. And let's go ahead and play that clip of Obama. This is Obama four years ago during the campaign saying he wouldn't raise any taxes on people that made under $250,000 a year, but they've raised payroll taxes on people making below $30,000 a year even. And they've raised all these other taxes that get passed on to consumers. And here's the CNBC headline, higher taxes put the bankers on, uh, put the brakes on retail spending. Higher taxes put the brakes on retail spending. Central banks buy the most gold since 1964. House moves to extend pay freezes for Fed workers. U.S. business innovators tick higher but miss forecast. Uh, that's just some of the news that we're going to be going over. But the point is, this is a designed implosion of our economy. Let's go to that clip. And I can make a firm pledge under my plan. No family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. And I can make a firm pledge. Let's play it again. No family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. Okay, so let's go ahead now and, and, and just go over some of the headlines I have here just from today uh, on this Sunday edition. We also have the weekday broadcast, 12 noon uh, Eastern uh, audio feeds at Infowars.com. America's financial downfall. Citizens now desperately rating 401k plans to pay bills long before retirement. And coming up, I have Alan Greenspan saying, don't worry uh, on, on CNBC Friday. Don't worry about the rest of the economy. Only the stock market matters. Really? Don't, yeah, don't worry about small businesses. Don't worry about mom and pops. Don't worry about the average population's income. Just worry about a bunch of global corporations that uh, are too big to fail and who uh, make the profits private but make the losses public. In chronic slow economic growth and rising poverty, writes J.D. Hayes at Natural News, 
the new normal for America and Americans, unfortunately, for an increasing number of people? The answer is yes. Chronic, slow economic growth that doesn't even keep up with inflation. So that's actually actually uh, poverty, my friends, being expanded. According to recent reports, a large and growing portion of American workers who are having trouble making ends meet because of rising costs are being forced to raid their retirement accounts for non-retirement needs. And it just goes over uh, the different links to mainstream news articles breaking that down uh, out of USA Today uh, and others. And what you have is worldwide, all the major governments, China, Japan, the United States, Germany, France, England, they're all coordinatedly devaluing their currencies. And here's the headline of the London Independent, G20 summit to focus on currency war, threat to economy. Japan's aggressive attempts to spur on its struggling economy were set to escape censure from the G20 nations today as bickering in Moscow kept alive fears of a currency war. France's ministers of the G20 gathering are understood to have pulled back from an explicit criticism of Japan, whose prime minister has embarked on a huge program of monetary and fiscal stimulus to jumpstart the world's third largest economy out of its third recession in five years. Folks, Japan has kept a tip of her lip, but they have been in a depression since the 90s. And again, it, mega banks created all this fiat derivatives to buy up real estate and companies worldwide with the fraudulent paper that would make Bernie Madoff blush. Then when it all went down, they had the public prop it up. In the mid 1990s, early 1990s, but it got bad by the mid 1990s. They've been in, been in recession slash depression since then. This started 20 plus years ago. It's been intense for 15 years. And Japan has never come out of it. It's not designed to come out of it. The insiders sign you on, whether you're in Iceland, whether you're in Greece, whether you're in Portugal, whether you're in Spain, whether you're in Japan, whether you're in Argentina, whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in Brazil, they create a mega debt, sign you on to it, point at the small number of the public that are on welfare who will go out and ride if they don't get it. That's where the debt came from, and it doesn't matter if the entire entitlement and national debt system is less than 9% globally of the derivatives that we've been signed on to. Of the real debt out there, it's about 9% of the 90 plus percent. We're told that we're lazy, we don't work enough. The head of the IMF member last year said Greeks aren't working enough six days a week, you know, or more is what you need to do. You're lazy. And it's all made up, folks. They're not lazy. It's all made up. For living in a high-tech industrial world, like we do here in North America or in places in Europe, we should be working even less. But the system's been designed to siphon it off, not so the elite can have bigger palaces, but so they can burn that money by signing it on, burn that energy. See, when you're a wealthy, high-tech global system, it empowers people. They're not beholden to government. They're not beholden to special interests. They can't be bought cheaply. So you wreck capital by extracting it from the producers, giving it to central banks who have unlimited fake currency they can create, who then destroy wealth, your wealth, to make their fiat valuable. That's why just in the U.S. alone, $85 billion a month is taken just in the QE3 funding starting last year and shoved directly into derivatives that have already been written off and triaged. So it's not even to prop up the bankers. You're told, well, they're holding us hostage too big to fail. They're shoving it into a black hole to impoverish you. As George Washington said, the power to tax is the power to destroy. I'm going to play some clips when we come back of Greenspan uh, acting like, you know, he's not part of this and, 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 and reporting on our downfall. Stay with us. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. 
Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Your freedoms are on the line. The Second Amendment is in danger. How soon before your freedoms are taken away? What can you not live without? What is your greatest dependency? Is it your guns? Is it your home? No, it's food. It all boils down to the food supply. Tyrannical governments control people by controlling their food supply. Don't be dependent. Be self-sufficient. Don't wait for the government to feed you. Feed yourself. I can warn you, but I can't feed you. Do like Alex has done and get a supply of food from eFoods Direct. It's the best long term storable food on the planet. Get the popular Mega Patriot Pack free. A 24-day supply of food plus stove, cook pot, and fuel. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get up to 20 Mega Patriot Packs free with purchase. Build your food supply, be in control, be self-sufficient, and be a patriot. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get your free Patriot Pack today. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. Rallying patriots worldwide. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. What is the point I'm getting at here? There are a lot of different types of rich people. But the dominant force in every major culture has been the monopoly gangs or cliques. Powerful gentry groups that normally were under a king who called themselves the noblemen who had generational monopolies. And the Renaissance, in the last 500 years, and the flower of the Renaissance, 1776, in the United States, is the antithesis of what has been established here in the United States. And so there is a revolution by the robber barons, by the insiders, the monopoly uh, capitalists who were anti-free market, the crony capitalists to annihilate the true free market 
uh, in this country. And I know I talk a lot about this. It's because I see Obama up there saying, I want to help the poor people during a State of the Union. And we're going to get, you know, jobs growth going. And we're going to have, you know, big make work projects. And, and CNN, it talks about building the Brooklyn Bridge and old projects. We are engaged in a fraction of the make work projects compared to our GDP that communist China is. And the globalists that run our country have made strategic deals in the last 30 years to shift our industrial development to China. The globalists have artificially tried to shut this country down, and they've written books about it. The Council on Foreign Relations admitted it 20 years ago. And then I see even top CEOs and people that aren't globalists not getting it, not understanding it. it. It's just so frustrating that the new world order is charting the future of the world. They are deciding the way the world is going to be established. And they're using government and corporate partnerships to chart that future. And it's a very nightmarish future. The, the collusion is being carried out not to build some wealthy, wonderful, empowered world. It's being done to consolidate power so that social engineering can be carried out. They don't want any new rich, nouveau riche. They don't want any new wealth. They don't want any uh, independent people out there, wild cards, that don't fit into their system. And again, the globalists, the UN, Bertrand Russell, all their top thinkers are obsessed with having totally top-down, engineered, managed, planned economies. And the communist Chinese are the partners of these globalists. And a few of these globalists have gone to jail. Ken Lay, Bernie Madoff. Ken Lay, of course, of Enron fame, Bernie made off of a $100 billion scam. And they're nothing. Bernie Madoff's back in the news today uh, doing interviews with press people via email talking about how, you know, I didn't do anything other people didn't do and giving examples of it and saying, I shouldn't have pled guilty. And people are laughing at him going, man, that guy is arrogant. But you know what? Bernie Madoff's actually being honest. The housing market, they're doing a balloon again. It's a total Ponzi scheme. Taxpayers will be signed on to that. Uh, all these other derivatives we've been signed on to globally, it's a total fraud, and it's designed to be a fraud. You know, there's a nine-minute interview up at Infowars.com where Greenspan um, talks about the fact that forget the economy. All we care about is the stock market, and that's the name of the video. Greenspan says, don't worry about the economy. All that matters is the stock market. But I wanted to play a clip from this coming up in a moment where he says odds of uh, sequestration occurring are very high. He says he says a gold mine in the nine and a half minute interview. But the first clip uh, that I'm going, yeah, the, 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 there's the actual headline. It's Greenspan, ignore the economy, only the stock market matters. We're also simulcasting on TV for radio audience. So the guys will throw up whatever I'm talking about. And sometimes I go from memory, so it's not the exact headline. And I'll correct myself. It's teleprompter free, obviously. Uh, but... The first clip I'm going to play is Alan Greenspan five years ago on Lair News Hour, PBS, saying the Federal Reserve is above the law. And he says, Lair says, what is the role of the government and the Federal Reserve? And he says, nothing. There is no role. It has no authority over the Federal Reserve. Really, I thought there was the legislative, the executive, the judicial, and those three bodies had separation of power so that one group couldn't get all the power and have a ty tyranny of Congress, a tyranny of the courts, or a tyranny of the president. A Julius Caesar-style tyranny or a Hitler tyranny. Hitler was elected. It's in the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence. It's all clear. Congress makes the laws and it controls the purse. Just like Congress makes war. Well, Obama now tells Congress that NATO is over our military and he doesn't need to come to them. And the Joint Chiefs of Staff have been told that. I mean, this is on record. This is a big deal. And it's bigger than Obama. The power structure wants a presidency that can do whatever it wants, because then they only got to buy one thing. So in this clip, he says there is no role for the government. And again, the Federal Reserve this year, in just a few months, will turn 100 years old. Its charter is up. 
we could use it symbolically as a way to have Congress revoke its charter. People say, well, that actually extended it in perpetuity, uh, what, 20-something years ago. It doesn't matter. This is the 100-year anniversary. The Congress could stand up and remove it any time it wanted. But the globalists have been smart. They've bankrolled all their people into Congress, except for a handful of good folks who are demonized by the media. If you see the media demonizing somebody then you know they're good. Not that the Republicans overall are good. They're bought and paid for by the same interest. But the so-called Tea Party Republicans, who are 24-7 demonized by their own party and by Karl Rove and others, they're the ones trying to manage America into this, into this monopoly system where the globalists destroy economies as a tool of political control. So let's go to this Alan Greenspan clip where he says there is no role for government over the Federal Reserve, which again, is it federal? It's private. Everything about it, including its name, is a fraud. Here it is. I apply it. I have the ideology because I believe that it is the best way of coming at the world and what type of policy. What is the uh, proper relationship? What should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. And uh, incredible, I've had, uh, very incredible. Never been audited. One hundred years in operation. Totally secretive. At the founding of it, six banks. Uh, oh, and guess what? It's the very bank names you know of: J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and then a British consortium. And they control unlimited money. Who needs to go out and make products? Who needs to go out and create a great book or literature or art or a better catalytic converter or whatever it is? You can just sit up there and say, there's no problem with the Federal Reserve as an agency of government when it's not. As long as other government doesn't ever get involved, that's the only sin. When the three branches check each other, you've got this outside private, mainly European banking arm in our face... And they don't want you, you make $22,000 a year, they raise your payroll taxes. That's poverty. And then they sit up there how they're philanthropist liberals when they're launching drone attacks, invasions of all these countries, funding Al-Qaeda, running assassinations in Benghazi, all of this incredible police state, and they're now announcing bipartisan wide open borders where the illegals come and get, can have their babies for free and everything paid for to, to bankrupt the economy faster. And why shouldn't they? Because the globalists get total control out of all this. We come back, the new clip of Greenspan. Then I'm going to get to a CNN clip where they're demonizing me as usual. And then we're going to get into the Second Amendment news and a lot more. And I'll talk about the near miss with the asteroid. Interesting space news. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. 
See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes. So there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Your freedoms are on the line. The Second Amendment is in danger. How soon before your freedoms are taken away? What can you not live without? What is your greatest dependency? Is it your guns? Is it your home? No, it's food. It all boils down to the food supply. Tyrannical governments control people by controlling their food supply. Don't be dependent. Be self-sufficient. Don't wait for the government to feed you. Feed yourself. I can warn you, but I can't feed you. Do like Alex has done and get a supply of food from eFoods Direct. It's the best long term storable food on the planet. Get the popular Mega Patriot Pack free. A 24-day supply of food plus stove, cook pot, and fuel. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get up to 20 Mega Patriot Packs free with purchase. Build your food supply, be in control, be self-sufficient, and be a patriot. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get your free Patriot Pack today. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. Man, I tell you, this whole Pope Benedict thing, it does beat a Dan Brown novel in all of the bizarreness and that's why truth is stranger than fiction has been said many many times look my point getting into the economy is this human ingenuity human ideas are unlimited and when you hear the federal reserve put out these policy reports about we've got to raise taxes or the economy will overheat they call a u.s growth rate of four and a half five percent a year overheating when you've got to have that just to deal with regular inflation and uh, the overburden of debt. China can have a 10, 12, 15% growth rate, and that's A-OK, -okay because the insider globalists all have deals with the Communist Party, like Al Gore and Foxcom and Apple, to have slave camps building goods where the people commit suicide mass so much, they got to put suicide nets around the buildings and drug people. But I thought Al Gore is a liberal. He is a monstrous pig-like creature who wants to lecture people that make money fair and square in America, jumping through all the regulations, all the taxes, all the hoops. When again, these people calling themselves liberals are flaming authoritarians. Flaming. They, they are so evil. They are like Hitler or Stalin or Mao, but they're beyond that because they've got high-tech propaganda and PR that, that they're these loving sweetsy cakes. And to raise taxes and make all the poor families get health insurance, which they can't pay for, written by the insurance companies. And now the premiums are doubling in 2013. That's official. In fact, show people watching TV. Just type in uh, insurance premiums to double in 2013. It's now official. Now happening. They're set to quadruple in the next five years. 
Oh, that, and the insurance companies make you buy their product and now have federal death panels, which they said weren't real, they now admit, that will then charge you 20 times for something that doesn't even help you. See, they'll, the, the government will decide what doctors can do now off computer screens and dentists are all to be told, all to be told. Now, there it is, double-digit premium increase for health insurance. New York Times, January 15th. Boom. Fox News, all of it. Oh, yeah, that's going to, what they call it, the Affordable Care Act? See, the Patriot Act is called the Patriot Act, and it's the opposite of being an American patriot. It's the opposite of being a patriot. The New Freedom Initiative, uh, written six years ago, an executive order to forcibly drug half the kids in public school, not just 20%. It's a federal goal written by the major drug companies, GlaxoSmithKline and others, Eli Lilly, all involved in it. Imagine the boldness of that. Going to government and saying, we want you to have the school nurses and everything under federal funding do screening that's designed to say half the kids are mentally ill and then try to put half the kids on deadly drugs. You call that the New Freedom Initiative. You call the Patriot Act the Patriot Act and you call this health care monstrosity the Affordable Care Act. Now let's go ahead. This is like a nine and a half minute clip. It's up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. You've got to go watch it uh, because he talks about forget the economy, the stock market's all that matters which again, the stock market's really not at 13,000 or whatever it is. The dollar's been devalued just in the last five years by about 35%. It's been devalued 99% since 1913, but most of that's happened in the last 15 years. So 30 plus percent just since 2008. What is that, four or five years ago? Look up the numbers for yourself. These are dead on numbers. And the economy is shutting down by design. And the, and the Affordable Care Act is destroying the economy. Uh, it was written by the insurance companies. So the big corporations and the small ones, you have to buy this insurance now that's, by the way, just doubled in price and is going to go up even more because it's written by mega banks that own the insurance companies who can make you pay whatever they want. By the way, my dad is in healthcare management. He said, my gosh, you're right. He goes... He goes, I'm involved in all this. He's involved at the state level. And he said, it's incredible, son. He goes, it's a huge tax on poor people. He goes, they're, they're, they're shutting down all the inexpensive clinics. He goes, it's bankrupting people. It's, it's destroying everything. It's designed to force doctors out. You can't even comply with this. It's unbelievable. My own dad's like, you know, I didn't think you were right that they wanted to destroy things. I knew that they were greedy and didn't care, but they really want to destroy health care. Yeah. And then fully socialize it. That's the plan. Before I go to this clip, I want to I want to read to you. It's after Obama win, billionaire says to businesses, "Don't stop hiring." John Paul DeJoria appeared on Fox Business today to offer encouraging words to business owners who are angry, upset, worried by Barack Obama's reelection. I was just going through news and ran across the story from weeks ago and it goes on about how he's worth four billion dollars was homeless but thought hey people might want something that isn't toxic chemicals to wash their hair was able to launch the idea launch patron uh you know tequila all this stuff and how he makes billions of dollars a year and all this stuff and how he said i don't mind paying more taxes but he goes the government mismanages things and is a bunch of cronies and then he says here at the end of the uh transcript he says DeJoria wasn't particularly concerned about the United States barreling down the tunnel towards European socialism either. He can't be that stupid, he said, of Obama's next four years in office. I think he's going to reach across the aisle, and he's going to come to Jesus. Oh, he came to Jesus. It's not the one, though, you're talking about, John Paul DeJoria. So you're self-made. You're not an insider that makes their money off fake derivatives, taxpayer-backed. And see, that's the difference. And, and then they use the corruption of the, of the out-of-control globalists to demonize anyone with wealth. They're now teaching in the media and the culture that if somebody's making $200,000 a year, they're a rich pig who stole it and is a piece of garbage. Let me explain something to working class folks out there 
the middle class has shrunk by about half the last 30 years in this country. Okay, the middle class are the people that build businesses, hire people, and spend money at your business. Okay, let me explain something. If you get rid of the rich people, we might as well be Guatemala or Nigeria. Let me get that through your head. Who gives you a chance to have a job and move up in the world? Free market, independent, new wealth, middle class, rich, ultra rich. The problem is the mega super rich in their own writings are diametrically opposed to anyone outside their clique and they want to go back to the old system. And they've signed us on to 1.5 quadrillion worldwide of derivatives debt. They created this, already been triaged, already been written off. They've just signed us on to it. You're like, well, why? To say too big to fail so they can dictate all policy and say they're above the law, as Alan Greenspan just said. I played a clip of him on Laird News Hour. He's above the law. Ben Bernanke's above the law. Who made them above the law? Well, they got us to accept their... I mean, don't you think Madoff, if he could have gotten the world to accept 1.5 quadrillion, would have done it? Then the world buys the 1.5 quadrillion. They don't want to be told the 1.5 quadrillion isn't any good. And so the con artist says, okay, got to do everything I say. And that's what's so amazing about this. You remember... Starting about 12 years ago on the internet, everybody started getting these Nigerian emails saying, I am you know, Prince Wabubi or whatever the name was in Nigeria, and if you will send me $5,000, I will give you $1 million waiting in this account. And people thought their ship had come in and they would do it. Now, at first, it, it hit millions of people. Then it hit hundreds of thousands. Then only dozens. But it's the same deal. But you didn't go out and do a deal with, with the fake Nigerian prince. They signed you on and are now holding you hostage saying, if you don't put more money into this, everything's going to go belly up. And see, a lot of people would go do the Nigerian deal, pay the $5,000, not get the million, and then Prince Wabubi's representative would say, I will allow you to talk to Prince Wabubi on the phone. But you've got to put 10000 in and then you will get the money. And many people would shell out five or six times up to $100,000 to get the money from Prince Wabubi. And it's the same thing. All the yuppies, everybody, thinks that, okay, the, the, the mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC, they have given us, CNBC, they've given us outs that if we will just do A, B, C, and D, we'll come out of this. But everything they do, it's like the cartoon where the mouse is running in the mouse hole in the wall so the cat paints its mouth up like a restaurant or like a hole in the wall so the mouse runs into it. They've got every avenue you're going to run to just is, is more power to them. You have to wake up to this fact. We're going to come back and play the, uh, play the clip. Stuart Rhodes is coming up, but I'll get to the Greenspan clip and finish up on this. The reason I'm harping on this is not to be negative. The reason I'm harping on this is so that you understand that there's a way to fix this very quickly. The world isn't broken. There's problems that are real, but 90% of it is globalist orchestrating this. And that it's so easy to defeat them if we simply remove this scum and are honest about the real financial system of the world. Hour two coming up. It's so important. Call your friends and family. Tell them to tune in right now. The news websites are Infowars.com. Video streaming at PrisonPlanet.tv. Now that we have moved into the winter season, there is an increased need to support our immunity and health. At Silver Lungs, we are committed to meeting your needs by providing a full selection of silver-based products. Our most popular silver-based products are the 32-ounce Nano Silver Solutions, our 2-ounce Nano Silver Nasal Applicators, as well as our all-natural silver soaps. Just released is our 100% natural silver gel. Our new silver gel is not based on synthetic gelling agents, which quickly evaporate and leave the silver at the surface. But rather, we have formulated our silver gel using the natural skin nourishing chemistry of aloe vera to quickly penetrate and nourish the skin while delivering the silver more effectively. Visit www.silverlungs.com and click on our store page to find what silver-based products are best for you. That's www.silverlungs.com.
Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We are now in hour number two, Stuart Rhodes. From Montana will be joining us coming up in the next segment to get into the anti-gun attacks and the whole police state move uh, that is now openly expanding uh, the, the the media trying to spin their their giant arms build up enough bullets for 30 plus years that is all coming up but I've been mentioning this Greenspan clip it's it's almost 10 minutes long but here's just a few minutes of it uh, I mean he's saying you know the economy doesn't matter only the only the stock market which is inflated by dollars that are devalued. And he just says a whole bunch of stuff. So let's, let's play part of this clip right now. Here it is. A wholly unsustainable type of economic ser a ser series of events that are playing out there. I know everyone thinks it's going to be easy to bring the deficit down, but we have picked all the low, high, the, 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 the low hanging fruit. And the low-hanging fruit is gone. Right. And right. the result of it this falls. is that to get... Again, folks, this is the guy that said, watch out about irrational exuberance right after he was the one that got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act. This is the guy who helped engineer with Clinton and the Republicans were involved as well, bipartisan, allowing the globalists to create all these derivatives. And then instead of letting them all go under, sign us on to it. And then this bastard sits there. I mean, he's a bastard, man. A bastard. In fact, bastards are nice people. That's not even a strong enough word. A cockroach is to have a job. This, this demon, this Emperor Palpatine, who helped engineer what we're going into to destroy our wealth on record and to sign us onto it, lecturing us about how we've gotten rid of all the low-hanging fruit. You've done everything you can to hold this economy under. You've done everything you can, New World Order putting poison in our food and water to dumb us down, shutting down our economy, deindustrializing our country, shipping the jobs overseas. Oh, we're back up on Drudge Report right now? Oh, man. I'm glad Drudge is carrying that. Let me guess. I, I couldn't hardly read it. Is he showing the government saying there's no bullets or, or that I'm a weirdo? I mean, just go back to, go back to DrudgeReport.com. So I can see, oh, what's the link above it? What's his reason? Oh, yeah. Gun dealers report shortages of ammunition. Yeah. We were trying to buy more 223 to, to do a gun shoot and shoot uh, Tracer. You just can't get it. Can't get it online. I couldn't. It's just driving me insane. Barrett, 50 cals. Were $5,000 a year ago. They're like 15000 right now. Yeah. By the way, they jumped $3,000 after I said that last week, so I better shut up. The point is, is that, while well, people know there's a rush on these. All right, well, in fact, I meant to cover that bullet stuff. Will you print me the new article about the bullet shortages? In fact, I was going to cover that with Stuart Rhodes, so that's a perfect perfect reason. I mean, if it's on Drudge, it better remind me to get to get to covering that. In fact, where's my, where's my stack? Oh, here it is. Here's my stack of bullet news. Something's got to be a national story now for me to remember to cover it. I do all this preparation. You guys watch me every day, like 20 stacks, and then cover like three stacks. 
We're going to come back. I'll hit some of the news headlines, which you know what that means. And then uh, we'll uh, get to Stuart Rhodes and the rest of it. And I've got CNN and a new demonization campaign that really illustrates how pathetic they are. But, but let's go out to break with Greenspan. Let's go back to turd stand. Here it is. The budget deficit down is going to require some very unpopular actions. Oh. And uh, I just... Massive new taxes, cutting the welfare, to give it all to foreign bankers, right? The generation is now only beginning to, to retire. And yep. we're, getting a, we're getting a shift from highly productive uh, baby boomers. Which the globalists said 30 years ago they planned. The economy. To jump ship. To retirement. See, they talk yeah. to yeah. us like we're five years old, don't know this was all planned. Absolutely. I think, I I tell you what, back it up to the beginning of that. I don't want to play this clip. Deal yeah, 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 back it up to uh, 505 in the, in the, in the, in the clip. I'm going to. I'm going to play that whole clip because this, I mean, the whole interview, when that guy comes out, he's telling you what's about to happen. And he's like, oh, we're in deep trouble. There's nothing we can do. We're an old country. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you've helped screw us everywhere you could, globalist. Move to China is what you've done. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a pattern patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday. It is, of course, my friends, a worldwide broadcast, and I want to thank you all for joining us on this 17th day of February 2013. Now, I was going to cover this already today. Fox News has the headline carrying the Associated Press. Why is the Department of Homeland Security buying so many bullets? And it says online rumors about big government munitions purchases are true, sort of. And it goes on to say Homeland Security Department is buying and has bought 1.6 billion rounds of ammo, roughly the equivalent of five bullets for every person in the United States. Published federal notices about the ammo buy have agitated conspiracy theorists since the fall. They're buying thousands of armored vehicles, 1.6 billion bullets, more than 14, 15 times any amount of bullets they've ever bought in a single year. Uh, urban warfare drills, TSA checkpoints in the town where I live, and I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I started seeing YouTube videos a few years ago where people would complain to the TSA groping them and videotape it and go, I don't like you touching my genitals. I don't like the, they'd go, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. So if you go into a hamburger place and say, I want a strawberry shake, they go, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. You go, well, what do you mean? Well, you have a view. It's chocolate or vanilla. Do you see what I'm saying? Now simply going, man, why are they dressing in black uniforms and running checkpoints and 
buying 1.6 million bullets and armored vehicles and why were there urban warfare drills in our town and you know why are they running checkpoints on the highways and why are they putting people on no fly list and you know why are they saying in 14 15 states now again that number 14 they are uh, California, Missouri, Washington State, New York, you name it, introducing bills to all out ban semi-autos and make you turn them in. We wrote articles about that on Friday. We'll show some on screen for radio listeners. If, if you're not a radio listener, just, just type into the search engine. Missouri moves to ban all semi-autos. Washington State move, moves to ban all semi-autos. I've got a clip of a police chief in California at a press conference saying, quote, a gun is not a defensive weapon. You shouldn't be able to have one. I mean, this is the type of bonker stuff that's going on. And their response is it isn't happening. Guys, will you punch up Drudge Report for TV viewers? I want to show people something. Here's Drudge Report relinking right now to Infowars.com, but right above it. Gun dealers report shortages of ammunition. Now, do you remember the last few years? Oh, nobody wants your guns. You're a conspiracy theorist. Nobody wants your guns. Nobody. Nobody. And we're like, but Obama as a state senator said ban them all. The UN Treaty says ban them. Uh, Daschle wanted to ban them. Uh, the current vice president, when he was a senator, introduced the first legislation to physically turn them in. Why, here's a clip of Dianne Feinstein saying, we will make you turn in your guns if we can get the votes. I mean, that's a clip. I've played it probably 15 times. I'll play it again if you want. In fact, you can up Feinstein in a minute. Thank you. Feinstein, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them in. And they go, no, you didn't hear that. I, I mean, look, you guys don't control reality anymore is the message here. You don't control reality anymore. We know you want our guns. Every city you're in control of, you've taken them all. New York, Chicago, you name it. Stop playing games. You've taken them from... 40-something countries the last few decades. So stop. Yeah, there it is. Missouri Democrats call for gun confiscation. The denial is over. Government is coming for your guns. And then it's got the House Bill 545, five, and it says how you'll turn them in, how they'll, I mean, you know, and there's all, there's like at least 14 states that have got gun confiscation in them. And it's not even making the news hardly. It's what's crazy. I want to bring Stuart Rhodes, uh, Yale graduate, uh, uh with honors, a constitutional lawyer, worked for Congressman Ron Paul on the Hill, um, also an Army um, paratrooper, retired from the Army when he got injured, uh, great patriot, founder of Oath Keepers. Uh, he joined us. We're about to go to break in about four minutes, but you know, you've heard my breakdown here. I wanted to get you on about more than a dozen states introducing legislation where all semi-auto is turned in, from a 22 up to a handgun. Uh, and now the urban warfare drills everywhere unannounced with police, with role players saying, I'm an American, I need food. So there's no doubt what this is for. The Army manuals say it's for citizens. Stuart, I, I mean, it, and then meanwhile, they have AP run in hundreds of publications saying, I'm crazy and discredited. Yeah, they're getting the bullets, but I shouldn't be upset. I mean, I don't think their propaganda is working anymore, Stuart. The military, the police I talk to, who the system is, you know, wants to follow orders, is more awake than the general public. What is your basic analysis of what I've just broken down, Stuart Rhodes? Well, yes, it's becoming very obvious to almost anybody with the eyes. And so I'm, in, I'm in, actually in Reno right now at, uh, at a huge gun, gun show here in Reno, and everybody I talk to is more than aware of what's going on, and they see the big picture. And that's why there was, you know, lines around the block to get in and massive lines to buy ammunition. They're buying up everything they possibly can. And they're not just buying it because they think it might be banned. They're buying it because they think they might have to use it pretty soon. And so they, they really, um, almost every gun owner I spoke to is very concerned that this is, this is for all the marbles and we're heading for a civil war. And they're looking not just at the, the gun control legislation coming across um, at federal and state levels, but also, as you said, the pattern of DHS arming, arming, arming up and gearing up, you know, buying 7,000 um, assault rifles for them, and they say it's for self-defense, but while saying they're not useful for self-defense for us. And so they see this, they see, they see the hypocrisy, and, and frankly, this, this, um, this is an overstep on the part of the elite. They, they are really just kind of going from broke. Either they don't care what we think, or they underestimate the, um, the awareness of the average American. And so I think it's, you know, frankly, it's a gift. It's waking up more Americans than ever before. And I was just in Albany for the big New York uh, rally there, 
um, of gun owners, about 3,000 gun owners got together and, and they all chanted, we will not comply. Thank you for reminding me why I got you on, why we called you three days ago to get you on Sunday. There is a rebellion. Guys, get the Albany video. It's five minutes long already. I'm going to play that. Uh, there's just not enough time in the day. For those that don't know, gun shops, gun publications, they're saying, line in the sand, we're not turning it in. They're arresting vets and putting them in jail for clips over 10 mag. The line in the sand like the Alamo has been drawn. I got to commend folks in New York. They're actually going public with their names saying 1776. You were just there. What is the spirit on the ground? Exactly that. Um, we led them in an in a oath renewal ceremony, and, and I read them parts of our pledge that we will not disarm. And quite a few of them are, are agreeing with that. They're, they're, in fact, I would say all 3,000 of the gun owners there agree with, with the stand that they're just simply not going to comply. They're not going to register themselves or their weapons. They're not going to turn anything in. They're just going to totally nullify and refuse. And we had a, a, a current serving sheriff, um, Sheriff of Fulton County, Tom Laurie, got up and said, my county, he says, my county is a Milan Bay County. It's a come and take it county. That's wow. a really correct. All of them to do is, 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 you know, is your county a come and take it county or is it a bend over and take it county is what I challenge the audience. And a lot of them shot it back. It's a come and take it county. And so they're very focused on resistance. They're not going to comply. And so what Cuomo has done is, is lift the match of a possible civil war within New York, not even national, just right there in New York State. And they're going to brand as terrorist, but it's not going to work. I mean, the, the, these globalist collectivists think this is the Soviet Union, and they're just going to do this. They don't understand. All they've done is w confirmed everything we've said, Stuart. My God, as you said, it is a gift. These tyrants just do not get it, do they? No, they don't, unless they really want a civil war. You know, so it's hard to say. Yeah, they do want a civil war. They don't care how many cops get killed. I got a different idea. Stay with us. Your freedoms are on the line. The Second Amendment is in danger. How soon before your freedoms are taken away? What can you not live without? What is your greatest dependency? Is it your guns? Is it your home? No, it's food. It all boils down to the food supply. Tyrannical governments control people by controlling their food supply. Don't be dependent. Be self-sufficient. Don't wait for the government to feed you. Feed yourself. I can warn you, but I can't feed you. Do like Alex has done and get a supply of food from eFoods Direct. It's the best long term storable food on the planet. Get the popular Mega Patriot Pack free. A 24-day supply of food plus stove, cook pot, and fuel. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get up to 20 Mega Patriot Packs free with purchase. Build your food supply, be in control, be self-sufficient, and be a patriot. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get your free Patriot Pack today. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off.
off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth friendly and safe. See them on the web at fivestarsoap.com or call 800 340 7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. This is a news intense Sunday broadcast. I'm not taking calls today. I will tomorrow on the weekday show, 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. You can find a list of stations and uh, audio links and podcasts, the rest of it, Infowars.com. CNBC linked up at DrudgeReport.com. Gun dealers report shortages of ammunition. I can confirm that I pretty much got a shop online and paid double to triple premiums for ammo that I need. And I've been stocking up as well. But, I mean, mainline calibers are sold out. Strange calibers are sold out. Uh, it's, it's, it's become amazing. And it's not just the government buying 1.7 billion. They're saying 1.6, that's old numbers. It's over 1.7 million now, the last 14 months, fiscal year, last year and part of the year before. It is government buying it, driving up prices in 40 cal, 308, you know, NATO, 223. But it's everything now. I mean, you can hardly buy bricks of 22 ammo that I always had as a kid because it was cheap and, you know, my dad would buy it for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's all gone. If, if you want something, you're going to pay double at least. And everybody I talk to just says, we have a tyrannical government. We know the government's tyrannical. We know it's the Federal Reserve. We know they want to implode us like Europe. I mean, for those that are informed, they really get it. Now, those that aren't informed are even more delusional and more mindless. Uh, but later, Stuart, I've got a CNN clip I'm going to play. Stuart Rhodes, founder of Oath Keepers, with us. It was just up in New York where the rebellion is really forming. And, well, I'll get to that story later. The point is, is that I talk to people. They're not, they're not going along with this. For those that don't know, New Yorkers are saying we're not turning them in, and they're not. They've passed laws now where over a 10-round mag is a felony, and they're pulling people over to checkpoints and taking them to jail for it. Uh, and Cuomo uh, just yelling and screaming, you know, blaming gun owners for any problems. Uh, it's quite a spectacle, and I think I think their actions now actually coming for all semi-autos and, and now saying we, they want to ban even more, I think it's the shot heard around the world, Stuart Rhodes. Yeah, it potentially is. The big concern we have is that they may uh, trigger an economic collapse and then blame the gun owners for the collapse because, the, you know, the stock market is right there in New York. So that could be what the, what's up their sleeve is to, is to uh, use it as cover for the economic collapse. Who developed then, that theory? Because that's actually one I've said that they want to get a civil war going before they fully collapse things to blame the civil war for the collapse. Right. And blame gun owners in particular and blame us better. Did you develop that idea? Because I think that's spot on. Well, that's what my board uh, thinks. So my guys on my board were talking about it and that's what we think 
you know, that's what we would do if we were them. So we're, you know, putting our si- our, ourselves in the, in the posture of the enemy. Um, the best way to have political cover for demonizing gun owners is to blame them for an economic collapse. And then during the collapse, you can crack down on them. And you can say, it's all their fault. It's all their fault. The reason why the food trucks can't get through is because of these extremists who, who refuse to let them through and are fighting back, you know, turn them in. So that's our big concern. That's why we're really focused on talking to the police and military about that scenario. So we, 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 like you've been talking about before, when you expose it, then you inoculate them against it. And, and one of the photos I just sent you guys is a bunch of cops from New York City, NYPD, who are Oath Keepers. They came to the rally, and they have the same mindset even in New York City, right at the heart of the beast. They're not going to comply. They're not going to enforce it. And they're arming up, too. And they know, you know everybody around them is starting to buy weapons. And this is inside New York City itself. Well, we'll pull up that photo from Oath Keepers. Very, very exciting. We'll put it on TV for viewers. Also get it up on Infowars.com. I've been asking a lot of questions here, and I have a lot more I want to get to in some video clips and audio clips, Stuart. But what else is front and center in your scope right now? Well, we're, we're encouraging people to focus on their counties, and we're going to call it the Milan the Bay County Project. And between now and April 19th, let's do a sprint. Because things might kick off in April or May, whether it's an economic collapse or whether it's gun control that sparks a civil war. And so we're saying, look, by April 19th in your county, Find out who's on what side. Your sheriff, your chief of police, your county commissioners, are they patriots or redcoats? Give them that deadline and tell them they have to make a public declaration on the side of the Constitution to be considered a patriot. If not, they'll be branded a redcoat. And so the focus is on, on what's going on in our own counties. And we want to see every gun owner and every veteran stand up shoulder to shoulder and pledge that they will not disarm, they will not comply, and then turn to their elected officials and say, we have decided where we are, we want to know where you are now. That's our focus is on the counties. Well, last count I saw, it's well over 100 sheriffs that have said, we're not going to take the guns. What's the point of disarming law-abiding citizens? The FBI's own crime statistics that they don't publicize. 49% drop in violent crime since 1991 uh, because of gun ownership accelerating. I mean, they're in an all-out assault against guns because the gun culture is the beachhead on which we were going to rebuild the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution, just as our country was founded when they tried to take the guns. It was being refounded in that. Uh, do you concur with that analysis? Um, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're in the same long train of abuses pattern that the founders were in, and, and history is repeating itself. It was the final attempt to disarm them that compelled them to fight. But as I reminded the folks at the Albany rally, on April 19, 1775, they were not just going for guns, they were also going for people. They were going for Sam Adams and John Hancock as the leaders of the resistance, and they were not going to get a jury trial. They'd be taken off to a military brig ship in, in Boston Harbor and left to rot. And the modern parallel, of course, is the NDAA. And that's why with Oath Keepers, that's why our first three orders we will not obey is, number one, we will not disarm the American people. Number two, we will not use warrantless searches against the American people. And number three, we will not detain them as unlawful combatants. Those three go together in seamless harmony. Well, that's another question. Many have said that they wouldn't kill myself or you or Ron Paul because they don't want to trigger a response. But what if the time comes when they want to trigger the response? They could use us as the canary in the coal mine. What's your mindset on what the response to that would be? Um, hard to say. And this is, this is the problem. This is, this is very much like a parallel to April 19th. Um, any one of these things could be trigger events. You know, the detention of Brandon Robb, the Marine veteran, for, for mental health detention um, could have been a trigger event. And, of course, the new law that Cuomo just crammed down the throats of New Yorkers contains a provision that would allow... That's a mega trigger. When they try, because they bragged, as you know, it's in the Statehouse video. Good, we'll arrest you gun owners. That's going to... Because the gun grabbers are so Soviet, so arrogant, so hateful. They're just begging for it. They're begging for it. Well, there's a provision in there that allows the police to take someone's guns if, if they have reasonable suspicion that this person may be mentally unstable. So your average just, you know, delegated down, not just like, not just a psychiatrist can do it, they can do that too, but even to your average beat cop, you look at you and go, well, I see that, that Alex Jones bumper sticker, that Ron Paul bumper sticker, I think this guy could be mentally unstable. And there you go, they take away your guns. And so when they start doing that to veterans and gun owners in New York, 
Any one of those could be a flashpoint. And by the way, the globalists know this. Anywhere they don't want a civil war, they know to be nice to people when they take over. They want to win hearts and minds. Everything they're doing is designed to get us to revolt. And I want to ask you when we come back, why is that? Why do the people in their ivory towers want a civil war with 160 million armed people? I mean, what is the game plan there? Because they're not going to win it unless we understand they're globalist who don't care if Obama gets thrown out, the crisis will implode things, they can buy it up. I want to tell the bankers, you're not going to get away with that. We know who did this. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com it's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. And like us on Facebook. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. 90% of war is info war. We use the truth 
The globalists lose lies and deceit. Here is Dianne Feinstein, the senator, on what she plans to do with your guns. California Senator Dianne Feinstein worked for more than a year to get the assault weapons bill passed in the face of ferocious opposition from the National Rifle Association. She says she got the best she could. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. I could not do that. The votes weren't here. Okay, but they don't want our guns. More than 14 states introduced bills to make you turn your guns in. And it looks like they've got the votes in multiple states. And they're going to start coming after and arresting gun owners. And a percentage are going to resist. And uh, that will mean coffin nails to both groups, citizens and the police. Police, if they ordered you to go arrest Jews like Nazi Germany and take them to camps, would you do it? If they ordered you to put black people behind plows again, would you do it? This is unconstitutional. They can't pass a law putting our military under the UN, even though they've done it uh, by executive fiat. They can't pass a law to ship narcotics into the country, even though they do that. When is enough enough? I mean, this is a classic constitutional crisis. Constitutional lawyer, founder of Oath Keepers, uh, Army veteran Stuart Rhodes uh, joins us. Uh, now Greenspan's talking about total implosion of the economy as if he's not behind it, as if the globalists aren't behind it. Uh, why do you think, that question I asked before the break before last, why do they want a civil war when for anybody who studied basic military history or can look at the numbers, they're not going to win a conventional war except if that's not their goal, if their goal is to wipe out the American government as well, and the police for a second wave. Stuart Rhodes. Yeah, that's a try possible. It could be a two-part uh, program. One, like I said before, is, is you demonize gun owners and blame them for the economic collapse. And then during the collapse, you maximize the, the amount of demonization. Um, and, and you get more folks turn, you know, you, you get people to be desperate and hungry three weeks without food. And then you go to them and say, turn your guns in for food and turn your neighbors in who have guns to get more, you know, more. And that's credit. how the Soviets did it in the Eastern Bloc. Right, exactly. So that's the, you know, gaming it, looking at it from their perspective, that's their best chance of, of getting the maximum number of Americans to turn on the gun owners and the maximum number of police and military to go along with it is to make it a, a nationwide Katrina where folks are really truly desperate and hungry. That's why we've been beating the drums for people to get prepared in their counties, in their towns, you know, get squared away with food storage and and, and commo and, and medical, get squared away so that you're not desperate, your neighbors are not desperate. So you can't just be a, a hide, hide away, you know, prepper, the sole, the sole prepper hiding away in your basement. That's not gonna work. You gotta have food for your neighbors, you gotta get them to prep. So you take away that pretext and that excuse and that desperation. And you've got to politically get really aggressive up front to shape the battlefield. Yeah, absolutely. They're shipping the battlefield right now, and we need to do the same thing. That's why we need to make sure we're as strong as possible in our counties. And then we need, of course, to work on the military. And by the way, you corrected me. When I said 100 sheriffs, I knew it was above 200. What's the latest number? It's 300 and counting. So more and more piling on. And so the, the other so the other shoe that might drop, though, is, as you said, if they, if they really truly want a, a full-blown civil war, that Americans are killing each other in mass quantities and the military split and fighting each other, and then you have the Chinese or somebody else coming Yeah, that's in. the plan. Uh, right. That'd be, that's, that's what we really worry is, 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 is the big picture game plan. Well, listen, I used to hear all this former Army brass, guys that were assigned to the Joint Chiefs and stuff, say this like 15 years ago. I'm like, come on. That's not going to happen because there is a normalcy bias. I mean, even when I was somewhat informed 10 years ago, I couldn't believe this. Now, as you know, NLEO 9, 10, 11, they classified 12. The FEMA training drill, they had 15 different countries training to, quote, take on American extremists. The Mexican government, the Canadian, the Chinese, the EU. I mean, there is the Chinese listed to deal with American extremists. They're actually planning it. That is so crazy. <laughs> And the Chinese government came out, as you know, in the People's Daily and said, Obama, wage your war. That's a quote on the gun owners. We will help. I mean, they're even in their papers going, we're ready, comrade. I mean, that is so Twilight Zone to have the People's Daily. Uh, that article we wrote because Paul Watson's wife's Chinese. She saw it and we got it translated. 
that that you know went viral people were like wow the the, the chinese government says they're ready to help <laughs> i mean it's well, <laughs> well and, this, and this is where i think you know I, they must believe that americans are so vulnerable that they can get away with doing that bringing in foreign troops because nothing would would drive americans to the side of the patriot cause like doing that like bringing in chinese troops for example um so it'd be like bringing the hessians in back back in the day of the founders so you know so but maybe they think they get it all figured out maybe they really um, believe that we're so soft and fat and dumb and happy that that they can get away with this we'll see i'm i'm, I'm sure you saw for new listeners we can pull up the articles uh, did you see that a month ago when the chinese government people's daily was saying wage war yeah. on gun owners we're ready to help yeah, yeah, I saw that. See, I can't even believe that. I, it's so over the top. I mean, it should be immediately arrest Obama right there. I mean, it's 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 done. Well, like I said, we're we're in the long train of abuses stage, and one of the wisdoms of the founders was is they they maintain the moral high ground. I mean, there, there's there does come a Patrick Henry moment where you could say, you know, why are we waiting? We have to resist now. You know, there's like a sweet spot for revolution where you gain as much momentum as possible. You're not going to get any stronger if you wait too long, then you become weaker. But I don't think we're quite there yet. Oh, I I, listen, I want to avert anything physical. I think the fact that they're trying to start something physical shows how weak they are. Right. They're running out of time. And so, you know, it's, it's really interesting to see this. You know, everything's converging. And, and I think the window is short. That's why I told my guys, I said, look, you know, plan in three month spurts, a sprint from now until April 19th, get as prepped as you possibly can. It's not just about getting your public officials to declare which side they're on. It's also about you, the veterans and gun owners, making, making sure which side you're on and then getting prepped. You can't just be willing. You have to also be ready and able so to resist. And so, you know, focus on the full spectrum for preparation. And then if you get through that three months, nothing happens, well, then you just re-kick another three-month sprint, working three-month sprints. I agree with that plan. Uh, California cop, uh, this is uh, one of the uh, police chiefs in uh, Emeryville at a press conference uh, with the Chris Dorner situation, blaming the Second Amendment, saying, quote, a gun is not a defensive weapon, only police should have guns. Here is the outrageous clip. One, one issue that always boggles my mind is that the idea that a gun is a defensive weapon. That is a myth. A gun is not a defensive weapon. A gun is an offensive weapon used to intimidate and you used to show power. Police officers do not carry a gun as a defensive weapon to defend themselves or their other officers. What? They carry a gun to be able to, to do their uh, job in a safe and effective manner. And, and face any oppositions that we may come upon. What the? If it was a defensive measure. What a kook. Why did we lose 55 officers nationwide last year? What does that mean? Gun violence? And unfortunately, in just the two months uh, of this year so far, we've lost two officers to gun violence in the state what of California. What a mindless alone. ferret. We deal with gun violence on a daily basis. We are asking and have been asking for reasonable regulations. Not that's not reasonable. That are going you to know, turn them in. The uh, legal gun owner. We're asking for reasonable regulations that will help us. Man, that is a kooky group of police uh, up there on that stage. Stuart, what do you think of that bizarro statement? Well, that's entirely wrong. Every, every police officer understands that they're not, you know, judged during execution or they're only supposed to use lethal force in defense of themselves or somebody else. Yeah, it's all defensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, but of course, this guy, what this guy's really saying is, is taking the mask off and saying, this is how they are starting to see things. But that's not, it's still not, it's not lawfully correct. It's not how they're, how they're trained in the academy. But maybe he thinks that way. What a nutball. And he must hate it that violent crimes drop 49%. And you look at the cops in that gun control stage, they all look like idiots. You see all the pro-gun cops, they all look like tough guys. They're smart. They got they look you straight in the eye. And all the anti-gunners look like a bunch. They look like piles of steaming you-know-what. They look like fraudulent tyrants, and they can go straight to hell. We'll be right back. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans... Here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. 
These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes. So there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, Non Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Now that we have moved into the winter season, there is an increased need to support our immunity and health. At Silver Lungs, we are committed to meeting your needs by providing a full selection of silver-based products. Our most popular silver-based products are the 32-ounce Nano Silver Solutions, our 2-ounce Nano Silver Nasal Applicators, as well as our all-natural silver soaps. Just released is our 100% natural silver gel. Our new silver gel is not based on synthetic gelling agents, which quickly evaporate and leave the silver at the surface. But rather, we have formulated our silver gel using the natural skin nourishing chemistry of aloe vera to quickly penetrate and nourish the skin while delivering the silver more effectively. Visit www.silverlungs.com and click on our store page to find what silver-based products are best for you. That's www.silverlungs.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, I didn't get to a lot of the news I wanted to cover today, but that's okay because we've been covering the big central issues of the economy and the attack on the Second Amendment. The fact that the establishment would go after the Second Amendment just shows you how desperate they are and how dangerous they are. I'll be on the radio three hours tomorrow, and I'll get to a lot of the news I haven't covered and whatever the latest news is uh, tomorrow. Uh, obviously, the websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv, OathKeepers.org, a Stuart Rhodes excellent site. Over 300 sheriffs standing up saying they're not going to confiscate guns. Our biggest problem is this. You have a consortium of billionaires controlling trillions who are not free market, who are scapegoating all wealthy people for their crimes, 
in an attempt to cause a cultural revolution they control through the media to destroy the middle class and knock out any competition to the elite who are eugenicists as well who want to target the giant uh, mass of unwashed as they see them and so Stuart that's my biggest threat assessment here is that there is a knowledge gap you know it's taken myself uh, 20 years to learn what I know you know you're a com you know you're a veteran yourself constitutional lawyer work for Ron Paul you've got a high data level because you spend all your time on this I'm not elitist saying I know more than the average person. It's just that I don't think even people that are halfway dialed in really realize how real this is. We're not up here with rhetoric talking about all this. I mean, DHS, as we were sent by Homeland Security uh, leakers four years ago, is saying all gun owners are terrorists. Well, now that's public. Uh, they're saying all veterans are the enemy. And you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense unless you're an outside takeover force. Who's going to resist? Veterans, libertarians, conservatives, constitutionalists. People that are willing to fight, they are fearing men who they know are not afraid to kill people or be killed. And then you got to ask, well, what is it that's so horrible that they're t teaching police you will face veterans, there will be IED attacks, we are going to confiscate the guns, it's in the new Army field manuals. I mean, it's just so crazy because the program they've got might work if you and I and Ron Paul and countless others hadn't been active myself for almost two decades and others i mean they're not, it's like they're running an attack program on us as if we don't exist when their mainstream media is already a shadow of us i mean they i think they're drinking their own kool-aid but that doesn't yeah. mean this is going to go well my point is this is a disaster they're launching a sneak attack as if we're not fully awake and we're fully awake and ready to go yeah, well said. It's 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 the same demonization campaign that you saw in Nazi Germany against the Jews, except that the parallel here would be if the Nazis were to demonize, you know, half of the German population. Those traditional Germans are a threat. This is this is what they're doing here. You see what I'm saying? Is there? Yeah, they're not going after five percent of the population. They're going after sixty percent. Yeah, they're going after the heart and soul of America, traditional America. They're going after 10 million combat veterans. And their families. And all the gun owners, all the hunters. I mean, everyone who's ever grown up in the woods and hunting. And I, I know a guy who killed his elk in Montana at 960 yards. That's who they're going after. And there's guys like that all over the country. And, and you know, long-standing traditional American families where everyone has served in the military. And so all these current serving guys, where do they think they come from? Their, their grandpas, their uncles, their dads are the targets that they'll be you know, told to go and fire upon. They're not going to do it. And so there's going to be a massive split within the U.S. military. And so I, I have to think that they're just overstepping. They're believing their own Rome bull. They're well, remember Ron own. Silver, when, when, when the Clintons first got elected, the jets flew over. This was on record. He said, how dare them fly over the scum? And Hillary looked at him and said, that, that's our military now. I don't think these globalists, they understand sociology and things and anthropology and psych, but, but they don't get... They're a bunch of chicken neck wimps and they look at the military formations when they land in a helicopter and think they really command that. The truth is those aren't your jets. That's why they want to go to drones and things. That right. isn't your military, you little pieces of crap. Well, that's why you saw in the inauguration parade, the Marines had the bolts of their rifles removed from the rifles. Secretary um, of Defense won't go anywhere with the troops armed. Yeah. Apparently they don't trust them. And, and this is what's interesting about, like, like you, were, you were talking about the police officer who they interviewed saying that, you know, guns are offensive weapons and they're not useful for self-defense. Then what a wimpy was. And you compare that to the sheriffs, like that one sheriff of Kentucky. That's a bad looking dude. Or the Milwaukee see, uh, sheriff, all of them. Yeah, I want to see, see what happens when they fight. It, it's going to be ridiculous. So, you know, I really think I, they must have some bigger plan in, in mind to have us starve out. That's what they must be planning is such chaos that Americans starve in mass numbers and then they come in and mop up after that. That must be the plan because otherwise this is not going to work. It's a bunch of Soviet style Marxist professors sitting around with unlimited monopoly banker money 
planning their little game. And, and the good part about this is they've screwed us, shipping our jobs, regulations, shutting us down. That's been the bad part. The good part now is they're getting into the physical drilling down and making us their slaves. And that's when the fight starts. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just so delusional, Stuart. <laughs> Yeah, you know, in fact, I got contacted um, yesterday, in fact, by this guy, and I, I'll, I might just go ahead and disclose who he is, but he is, is doing an online Homeland Security class, and in the class, he was assigned by the professor to go find a current extremist and do a profile on them. So he calls me up out of the blue wanting to do a profile on me, and so I had him send me the criteria, this professor, um, and I'll send it to you guys, too. It's, this will be a big national story. Give it to us right now. What is it? What is it like? Believes in the founding fathers. Believes in the Second Amendment. It says. It says. Uh, in this course, you will study um, the the radical origins of the United States and 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 uh, yeah. and how that how those origins shaped the current environment of extremism. And so they're basically like you know, like the SPLC has been doing. They're calling, pissing on George Washington. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. They and that's what they have to do. So they're demonizing. Everyone is a patriot from George Washington all the way up to us. And it's just really bizarre to see this. And so, like I said, I, I think you're right. It's, it's ivory tower, egghead uh, Marxist who hate and loathe America. And now they're, you know, this is their wet dream of being able to teach all these police officers and military guys. And it turns out this guy's um, a former a military police officer. That's who this guy is. And he's taking this class. And so, you know, I don't know if he's on their side or our side. I have no idea. But it's, 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 good, it's a good example, a good window into the brainwashing that's now. Well, if you'll done send it. that to Paul Watson, we'll give you some emails. We'll have a big article out on it in the morning. I mean, yeah. headline Marxist professor demonizes founding fathers to police. I mean, there you go. Yeah. We're ready to hit him and hit him hard. It'll be fun. But, but I mean, you're right. Look, we're not here looking for a war, but this is what you'd expect an occupying foreign group to do. Demonize right. liberties, demonize veterans, gun owners, demonize the Bill of Rights. I mean, that's the bad guy. Whoever demonizes this is the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a good, good perspective, is they're behaving like a conquering, occupying enemy, but they haven't conquered us yet. They're idiots. Uh, the, 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 look, they always overcalculate. Look, they always overreach historically. You taught history as well there at Princeton. Uh, or was it Yale? I forget. Which university was it? It was at Yale. I, I was an assistant professor. No, I mean, I assisted a professor teaching a class on U.S. military. Absolutely. But let's expand on that as we close out the transmission here. You're talking to the military and police. You're at crowds of 3,000 plus people. We have the photo for viewers. Now, you were at a major gun show. There was giant lines just to get to the ammo. I, right. mean, I mean, I think they have, I don't think I know, they have totally miscalculated and fumbled. <laughs> but they could pull a false flag. That's my closing question. Absolutely. Well, you know, interesting. I had a National Guardsman come up to me today, and he we did a little video video interview of him. He said that his platoon sergeant, this is California National Guard, his platoon sergeant told all of the guys in the platoon that the, the first one of them who tries to obey an order to disarm the American people, he said, the first of you MFers that tries that, I will shoot you myself. This is their platoon sergeant saying this. And so, you know, this is in California. So, the, you know, there's, there's, there's already, like I said, a dividing line happening. And many in the military are so incensed about this gun disarmament thing that you get a platoon sergeant saying things like that to his men. It's just so crazy because I talked to the establishment intelligentsia. They think they're in charge because they earned getting there. They were put there by the mega banks that have unlimited currency to yeah. carry out this criminal act. So, so the enemy has the fact that we accept their fake currency, so they've got the money power, but they don't have the people power. They've got a bunch of morons working for them. Yeah, absolutely. Good point. You know, they think that if, once they've tricked themselves or, or tricked us into putting them in power, that after that they have some kind of a mandate, they can just do whatever, they're, whatever, whatever they want, and they're in for a rude awakening. They're seeing it in New York right now. Well, it could blow up any day. We pray for peace, but we prepare for war. I'll say bye to you at the end of the show, Stuart, to get those documents. We'll get an article out at Infowars.com tomorrow. See our latest yeah. article, Homeland Security buys 1.6 billion bullets up at DrudgeReport.com.
Your freedoms are on the line. The Second Amendment is in danger. How soon before your freedoms are taken away? What can you not live without? What is your greatest dependency? Is it your guns? Is it your home? No, it's food. It all boils down to the food supply. Tyrannical governments control people by controlling their food supply. Don't be dependent. Be self-sufficient. Don't wait for the government to feed you. Feed yourself. I can warn you, but I can't feed you. Do like Alex has done and get a supply of food from eFoods Direct. It's the best long-term storable food on the planet. Get the popular Mega Patriot Pack free. A 24-day supply of food plus stove, cook pot, and fuel. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get up to 20 Mega Patriot Packs free with purchase. Build your food supply, be in control, be self-sufficient, and be a patriot. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex and get your free Patriot Pack today.